Has it ever crossed your mind how much of what we own is truly necessary? And what's the real cost of our relentless pursuit of more? Perhaps it's time to examine the rise of a lifestyle that challenges our consumerist norms. Minimalism. In the beginning, minimalism wasn't a lifestyle. It was an art movement. In the late 1950s, artists like Frank Stella, Donald Judd and Dan Flavin began creating works that stripped down art to its essential elements. This was a reaction to the complex, emotive art of the abstract expressionist era, and it was the first hint of the minimalist ethos, less is more. But it wasn't until the late 20th century that minimalism began to emerge as a lifestyle. Influenced by Eastern philosophies, such as Zen Buddhism, which values simplicity and mindfulness, minimalism as a lifestyle began its slow but steady rise. It was about reducing clutter, both physical and mental, and focusing on what truly matters. As the new millennium dawned, the minimalist lifestyle gained great attraction. The financial crisis of 2008 certainly acted as a catalyst. As people lost jobs and homes, they were forced to evaluate what really mattered. This period gave birth to a new generation of minimalists who saw the lifestyle not just as a choice, but as a necessity. Fast forward to today, and minimalism has become a mainstream trend. It's seen in the sleek, simple designs of tech gadgets, the popularity of tiny homes, and the decluttering methods of Marie Kondo. It's a reaction against consumerism and the stress and dissatisfaction that often come with it. But adopting a minimalist lifestyle is not without its challenges. It's not about throwing everything out and living with next to nothing. It's about making conscious decisions about what to keep and what to let go, and that can be a difficult process. It's also about resisting the constant bombardment of advertising and societal pressure to own more and more. In summary, minimalism started as an art movement in the 1950s and has evolved into a lifestyle trend that challenges consumerist norms. Its rise has been influenced by various factors, including Eastern philosophies, economic crises, and a growing disillusionment with the stress and dissatisfaction of consumerism. Today, minimalism is seen as a way to simplify life and focus on what truly matters, though it comes with its own set of challenges. The rise of minimalism signifies a shift in societal values, from owning more to being more, from quantity to quality. It's a journey that invites introspection and conscious living. It's a challenge to the norm, and perhaps it's a question we all need to ask ourselves, what really matters in life? As we conclude this exploration of minimalism, remember that it's not about achieving a perfect, clutter-free life. It's about finding balance, eliminating excess, and focusing on what truly enriches our lives. It's a journey, not a destination. So as we navigate this complex world, let's strive to remember, less can indeed be more.